Hey guys, Austin Reed back with another video. Uh, this is another summary video, post-race summary of the Daytona 500. Wow. Just overall, my thoughts on the race. Uh, nah, the, ra the race wasn't that good. I mean, the wreck, the big one that we had on lap 14 and the big one near the end of the race, at the end of the race, um, wow. Especially that last lap, though. Holy shit. But overall, though, the race was not that good. I mean, I, I definitely feel bad for the fans in attendance at that event. The 30,000 people that were at that race went out to see an exciting race. Most of their drivers got wrecked on lap 14 in that 16 car pile up. And then they had to sit through six hours of a rain delay. And they, ha they hardly have anything to do. Like, I've been to the Daytona 500 before. If it's a rain delay, you're not doing anything. The one thing you can do is play on your phone, but you can't r really even do that because during a rain delay, there's hardly any connection. And LTE doesn't even work that well because it's in the rain. So they had to sit through that for six hours only for a snake for 180 laps. And then the last lap. I honestly feel like this race, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't the worst Daytona 500 I, I've ever seen. Like it's not the worst Daytona 500, but it's nowhere near the best. I'm being dead on serious about that. That was definitely not a good Daytona 500, despite the finish, despite the winner. With Michael McDowell, congratulations to him. Holy shit. But that race was not good. All the YouTubers, like small YouTubers, will also agree with me on that one. Racing Fan, Penske, Godzilla Gaming, aka Jake, Jake24, Luna Racing, just to name a few, Alex Stewart, and then JD Camaro, uh, Codine, YFZ. Eric Almiroli, uh, Bubba Wallace, 23 fan, Kyle Larson, 42 fan, a.k.a. Justin. All of us will pretty much agree that this race, despite its shocking finish and shocking big one on lap 14, we all agree that this was not a good Daytona 500. This was kind of similar to The Clash, to be honest. But at least in The Clash, you had some excitement throughout the middle of it. Because The Caution would come out, and then you had the infamous Turn 1. But other than that, the race was pretty much boring. Same thing with this race. It got exciting at the... In the start, then absolute, but instead of with the clash giving you just a little bit of excitement, this race gave you nothing. Those 180 laps were a complete waste of time. They were not, right. it wasn't racing. It literally was not racing. It was in a single file line. It was not racing. And those people, those 30,000 in attendance had to sit through rain for six hours, hardly having anything to do to watch that. And then the, an exciting finish. Like, the exciting finish aside, okay, that's one lap out of 185. I'm sorry, but I don't care who you are. You have to admit that Daytona 500 sucked. It was not the best Daytona 500, not even close. Was it the worst? Not necessarily. But it's definitely one of the bad ones. I wouldn't rate it highly. I mean, seriously, like that 
actually that race wasn't the best at all. Am I happy for the finish? Yeah, the finish was actually kind of awesome. It sucks that Chase, he came so close. Caution came out, though. He finished second. I feel bad for Larson, too, because Hamlin put him in the wall and wrecked him. And so instead of having a top five finish, he had to sell for 10th. But then again, I mean, he's glad to have his ride at this point. But just, it's really unfortunate that we had a race like that. It was really unfortunate. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this summary, this post-race summary. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm nearing 50 subscribers, and I'm planning on doing a Q&A when I do hit that. That Q&A will probably be delayed till maybe early March. Who knows? If it depends, really, when I reach 50 subscribers, I might just delay it a couple of weeks, though, just to get the questions rolling. Like, give it a week or two for the questions, and then do it when I have the chance. But, yeah. Um, overall, good finish. Two big ones. Both were pretty shocking for two completely different reasons one of them being shocking because it was so early the other being shocking to how brutal it was with Brad Keselowski going up and hitting the catch fence with the back of his car and then spewing out a fireball luckily all the drivers were okay but oh right, yeah or not luckily thankfully Anyways, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.